deep within the heart of the woods, a different kind of symphony plays out. The roar of engines, the whine of saw blades, and the rhythmic thud of logs hitting the ground. This is the world of industrial forestry, where machines like the Rodney H8D Harvester, the Tiger Cat 480B Mulcher, and the John Deere 959 Impeller Buncher transform nature's giants into the raw materials we build our lives with. These machines are a clash of power and precision. The Brusa FIL 30-50 threads wood with the focus of a surgeon. Meanwhile, the Sarah Africa XE160 cuts through massive hardwoods like they were nothing. Join us to explore where raw strength meets the surprising art of shaping wood. Sarah Africa XE160 We start with one of the biggest sawmills out there, the Sarah Africa XE160. It was built for a purpose, to conquer logs. Logs that make other sawmills tremble. Thick, heavy, with bark-like armor. The XE-160 chomps through them all. At its heart lies a powerful engine, providing the muscle to drive a massive blade. Its frame is built from thick steel, able to withstand the vibrations and stress of cutting through the toughest of woods. The XE-160 doesn't just handle logs up to 160 centimeters in diameter, that's wider than a grown man is tall, it tackles them with ease. The operator sits high above the action, with precision controls at their fingertips. The saw head can move quickly and smoothly, slicing through wood like butter. This isn't just about brute force. The XE160 can be adjusted for different cuts, transforming those giant logs into smooth boards or beams. The XE160 might sit in the heart of Africa, but its strength translates anywhere. Think rainforest hardwoods to massive construction timber. It's the sawmill that can handle nature's most challenging giants. Route R7 Now, how about finesse instead of muscle? Gather around this marvel of engineering, the Route Veneer Peeling Line R7. This machine takes those big logs and turns them into thin sheets of wood we call veneer, the stuff that makes beautiful furniture and plywoods. Imagine an apple peeler, but for giants. We feed in these logs and lasers scan them to find the best way to peel. The machine adjusts itself, then a giant blade spins and peels off sheets of wood like a continuous rivet. The coolest part? It can peel with or without a center core, depending on how much veneer we need and the log size. Automation is the theme here, so I mostly just monitor things. It uses fancy cameras and sensors to keep the veneer thickness perfectly even, and there's even a built-in moisture checker to ensure the wood goes into the dryer at the right level. Speaking of size, this machine is pretty hefty but its energy-efficient design uses up to 30% less power than older models. Now the veneer it makes can be any thickness we need, from the tissue-thin stuff for fancy inlay work to thicker sheets for plywood. You've probably seen its work in countless places, from high-end furniture to guitar bodies. Frontier OS 35 Let's take a good look at this Frontier OS 35 sawmill. This ain't your hobbyist backyard machine. This thing's built for serious work. It's got the muscle to handle logs up to 35 inches across. Think big old beams or live edge slabs for custom tables. Power-wise, it's got a reliable 22 horsepower engine to handle even the toughest wood. What I like is that it's built with simplicity in mind. The OS35 has some handy features like an auto-locking saw head that lets you adjust the cut height in a flash. The blade changing is a breeze too, thanks to their easy tensioning system. This means minimal downtime, so I'm back to cutting wood, not fiddling with tools. One big thing for me is that I can set it up stationary, but there's the option to make it portable. Imagine taking this beast to the job site. I can see myself turning fallen trees on a client's property right into lumber for construction. 
Also, I hear they've got attachments that make loading logs a heck of a lot easier, which is a bonus. Ponce Bear Representing an advancement in sustainable forestry practices, this purpose-built machine is engineered for maximum productivity in large-scale harvesting operations, while prioritizing environmental impact and operator safety. The Bear stands out due to its impressive power and agility. It boasts a 7.4-liter Agco power engine delivering 354 horsepower, along with a C6 crane system. This makes it capable of handling even the largest trees with precision. Crucially, this power is balanced by fuel efficiency, advanced emissions controls, and reduced hydraulic oil volumes to minimize its environmental footprint. It should be noted that the bear isn't designed for clear-cutting. Its strength lies in thinning and selective harvesting operations within mature stands. The harvester's maneuverability and active leveling system allows it to work with minimal ground disturbance, promoting healthy forest regeneration. Operator comfort and safety are not an afterthought. The ergonomic cabin provides excellent visibility and reduces fatigue during long shifts. Furthermore, the machine's stability control system ensures safe operation even in difficult terrain. Brusa FIL Series the Brusa FIL 30-50 is a specialized woodworking machine designed to thread things like broom handles, furniture legs, tool handles, anything round that needs a screw thread cut into it. Think of it like a super accurate lathe, but instead of shaping the outside, it cuts precision threads on the inside or outside of the wood. This machine is all about control. The piece of wood is clamped down tight, and you manually guide it towards this spinning tool that cuts the perfect thread. It takes a steady hand, and you swap the cutting tools to change the size or spacing of the threads. Specs-wise, it weighs a hefty amount. Weight varies based on setup, and needs some solid power to run it. It can handle wooden pieces up to 30 millimeters in diameter, 50 millimeters on a special version, and the spindle speed is adjustable for different materials. What's unique about the FIL 30-50 is that it can cut tapered threads and even reverse itself to cut threads in the opposite direction. This kind of precision and versatility makes it perfect for mass-producing parts that need to fit together perfectly. Rotney H8D We're talking about the Rotney H8D harvester. This isn't some clunky clear-cut machine. This baby is designed for precision thinning operations. Think of it like a surgeon with a chainsaw. Why is that important? Well, thinning means taking out specific trees to improve the health and growth of the remaining forest. The H8D's got this awesome articulated chassis that can twist and level itself, so we can move through the trees with minimal ground damage. The swing arms and automatic anti-spin keep this thing stable on even rough terrain. We're powered by a Stage V John Deere diesel that packs a punch but keeps emissions in check. Inside the cab, you've got great visibility, and the crane and harvester head are smooth as butter. Plus, those variable transmission controls let you crawl with precision or accelerate when it's time to move. This machine's about maximizing yield and leaving a healthy stand behind. We're not just clear-cutting, we're shaping the future of the forest one tree at a time. Tiger Cat 480B This isn't your average mower. It's built for tough terrain and large-scale land clearing. Imagine a tank with a high-powered blender attachment. That's the basic idea. Under the hood, it's packing a Tier 4F FPT C13 engine basically an industrial-grade powerhouse. This translates to serious tractive effort, meaning it can chum through mud, climb slopes, and chew through dense vegetation without breaking a sweat. The tracks are heavy-duty with an oscillating system for superior stability on uneven ground. Here's the clever part, the mulching head. This monster can be swapped out for different applications, but the basic principle is the same. 
It houses a bunch of hammer-like teeth that flail around at high speed, pulverizing trees, brush, stumps, anything in its path. The 480B shines in jobs like prepping land for development, clearing power lines, or managing forests after wildfires. It tackles big jobs quickly and efficiently, turning debris into mulch that enriches the soil. Plus, the high-capacity cooling system ensures it can run all day in harsh environments. Clearman Industries HD852 What is a wood transformer? That's a bit like what happens with the Clearman HD852. This big machine takes rough logs and turns them into perfectly smooth pieces ready for making stuff. Let me see if I can explain this. The log enters, gets all clamped down, and this massive spinning head with these sort of arms covered in cutting tools comes buzzing in. The HD852 strips off the bark, knocks down all the gnarly bits, and gets the log down to a super smooth round shape. Now, this machine's built soft. Think heavy-duty steel in all the right spots, and a powerful system to spin that head and run everything up and down. It's also got tons of adjustments, because, you know, not all logs are perfectly shaped. The HD852 can handle logs up to a certain width and length, perfect for turning smaller trees into everything from fence posts and tool handles to big beams for construction. Dumet WD Series If you're into the whole building stuff thing, check out the Dumet WD Series multi saws. These bad boys are all about cutting wood, but not like your grandpa's miter saw. Think industrial level, but sized down for smaller shops. Imagine you want to build a sick looking skateboard ramp. You need to cut those curves perfectly, right? Dumet saws can handle that no problem. Even super strong woods? Piece of cake. They've got different sizes depending on how big a project you're tackling and adjustable blade speeds, so you can fine tune the cut. These machines are super accurate and way less shaky than those cheap saws. We're talking smooth edges that go together perfectly. Plus, Dumet saws aren't a huge hassle to set up and clean. Which basically means more time building cool stuff. So, you want precise cuts for your projects? Maybe you dream of starting a side hustle making furniture with fancy shapes. Dumet saws might just be the secret weapon. Now, they ain't cheap, but you get what you pay for. John Deere 959M The John Deere 959M isn't one to sit idle. It's a feller buncher built to conquer the forest. Its engine roars with over 300 horsepower, the source of its relentless power. When those wide tracks turn over the earth, dirt and rocks scatter. It doesn't fear slopes. Its leveling system keeps it steady as it reaches out with its powerful boom. The 959M's work isn't pretty. It grabs hold of trees, giant tooth-like clamps securing its grip, and then its massive saw head roars to life. Trees that took decades to grow fall in seconds, yet there's precision in this power. The operator can place each fallen tree carefully to minimize damage to the forest floor. This machine isn't just about tearing down. It's about transformation. Those fallen trees become lumber for homes, furniture, and countless items made of wood that surround us. The 959M is a beast, but a productive one. It reshapes the landscape, clearing the way for both new growth and the material society needs. It's tough work done with purpose. Have these machines sparked your curiosity? Do some digging and see what other amazing forestry machines are out there. And next time you use a wooden object, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey it took to reach you.